Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MTGO Traders. My name is Taryn, and this is Just Guy Lives. Well, well, well. The Star City Games Atlantic Classic finally brought out the real metagame of Standard. Out of the top eight, two were control strategies, three were aggro strategies, and three were mid-game strategies. Just look at that diversity. I tell ya, it's a great time to be alive. But, do you want to play a deck that beats all three? Follow me. Before I get into the deck list, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. It helps us know that you care. Alright, let's go! Sadly, there are no one drops in this deck, but that doesn't mean the deck isn't a powerhouse. Coming in at the 2-drop slot is a playset of Glory Bound Initiate and Storm Chaser Maids. Both cards are amazing in their own respect, and probably the best thing for this deck, because both can survive a Sweltering Suns on your turn. That's extremely important in the meta we're at at the moment. Getting your hits in early is also what causes this deck to do some serious damage in the long run. Bloodwater Entity was also playtested here instead of Storm Chaser Mage, but the haste and turn 2 play allowed it to get under counter spells and survive Magma Sprays, so I preferred the Mage. Okay, moving on to 3 drops. A total playset of Hanwar Garrison is here to rock the house. This card does serious work in out-tempoing control, or matching tit for tat on token based strategies. Not only does the Garrison make 2 other creatures attacking in, it can become a late game bomb with the inclusion of handware battlements. Swinging in for 13 damage on the turn the pieces melt together usually means game over. But that is it for the creatures, we're only running 12. We want to keep this list a little lean because the rest of the cards in the deck are dealing with threats of the meta. And since we've got so few creatures in the deck, two copies of Turn Aside is a must include here. While being a 1 mana counter removal spell, this card saves you more than you think, and players usually play right into it, as it's an unlikely inclusion. Turn 3 Storm Chaser or Glory Bound Initiate are safe from a Fatal Push or Harness Lightning thanks to this single mana spell. Very nice. Moving up, we've got a killer removal suite. A playset of a braid and harness lightning. Not only do these deal with heavy creature based strategies for the meta, mono red and mono black zombies alongside blue white monument, but this also helps us do double duty against blue red control and god pharaoh's gift decks. Being able to destroy artifacts at the speed of an instant spell for only two mana main board is extremely important. These two cards are what give our decks so much reach and allow for storm chaser to get in for repeated prowess damage. Not only do we have those two pieces of removal, but we also have a playset of cut to ribbons. This card does double duty in the deck as well. While being a fantastic combo removal card, it can also help us close out a tight game when we flood or stall the board state. Most of the time, we're waiting on an opponent to misplay, but with ribbons, we're happy to sing 12 mana and burn them for 10 straight to their face. But let's say you have a difficult to deal with God or Planeswalker. Not a problem. We're running two incendiary flows to hit a Planeswalker directly or combo a God into Oblivion. These cards, again, come in quite handy. But let's also say you're dealing with a wide board state of tokens and you're struggling to keep up with them. Two main board sweltering suns are here to deal with that as well. Goodbye zombies and monument warriors. While this can be detrimental to your board state thanks to Hanwar Garrison, the need for board wipes in the main board is a must now. Don't go home without them. Next, we've got a playset of Glimmer of Genius. This feeds your Harness Lightnings and Aether Hubs we have in the deck, as well as fill up your hand with much needed ammunition to deal with onboard threats. Against Control, this is a highly sought after counter to their own Glimmer of Genius. Make sure to be aware of their turn 4 end of your turn Glimmer. They'll for sure get lots of value from it, and you can get your own value in your own way. Lastly, Planeswalkers being a pain? No worry. Two casts out are here to deal with Planeswalkers and any relevant threat that comes down at the end of your turn. Turn that Gear Hulk, Glorybringer, or Scarab God into a thing of the past with Cast Out. Don't need it? No worries. Cycle it away. It's flexible removal, but at a high price. Just be sure to play it at the most opportune moment. We wouldn't want this getting countered. Lastly, we've got a heck of a land base for you. 4 Aether Hub to help mana fix, 3 Concealed Courtyard for white and black sources for ribbons and initiates, 3 Hanwar Battlements for melding and haste action, 3 Inspiring Vantage for white and red sources, 2 Port Towns for white and blue sources, 4 Spire Bluff Canals for blue and red sources, 3 Wandering Fumeral for red and blue sources as well as mid to late game attackers, and 2 Plains, 1 Mountain. While the mana base seems spread out, I've done extensive testing and can tell you that the mana base is solid. Excluding Aether Hubs, you have 10 sources of white, 3 sources of black, 11 red sources, and 9 blue sources. Pretty evenly spaced when you look at it like that. A great hand looks something like this. 1 Inspiring Vantage, 1 Spire Bluff Canal, 1 Other Land, 1 Glory Bound Initiate or Storm Chaser Mage, 1 Abrade or Cut to Ribbons, 1 Turn Aside, and 1 Hanwar Garrison. Having Turn Aside in our opening hand helps us to deal with our opening hand removal, so we don't have to lose momentum. But the deck works quite well when all the pieces are in place. The sideboard makes the deck even better depending on your matchup as well, so let's check that out. 2 Dispel for the control matchup, 2 Fragmentize to deal with the Monument, God Pharaoh, and even Cast Out Hate, 1 Crook of Condemnation to deal with Delirium and God Pharaoh decks, 2 Declaration Stone to deal with tokens, 2 Negate to deal with control, since this is the hardest matchup 
matchup, one Dispossessed to deal with a plethora of artifact combo decks, one Solemnity to help against the Black Green Energy deck, but play this with caution as it can hurt your Harness Lightning and Aether Hubs, two more Cast Out to continue Exile Hate, one Hour Devastation to deal with Indestructible Creatures and Planeswalkers, and one Commit to Memory to help against milling strategies. We don't want to be dying due to being milled to death. And that is the full 75. I've been tinkering with this deck for the better part of two weeks, and I think I've finally got it down to a science. Not only that, but I think it pairs nicely against all eight of the winners at Star City Games Atlantic Classic last weekend. So happy that it can match up like that. Anyway, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to MTGO Traders for more content like this every day. If you have any suggestions for the deck, just leave a comment below. I'll be down there interacting as much as I can. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.